Good morning, John Newberry families. This is Mr. Loomis. I am the principal at John Newberry Elementary School, and I am here just to welcome you to the brand new school year, the 2020-21 school year. I'm excited about this upcoming school year, working with you and your kids. It'll be different, as we well know. And in this brief video, I'm hoping to outline to you some of the key points that may help you and your kiddos get off to a good start and maybe answer some of the questions that you may have in your head. I know you must be anxious for this upcoming school year, but I'm here to let you know we got this. Together, we can do this. The year will be different with remote learning, and we have learned lots from last spring. And I know all of our teachers are here to do their best to ensure that all students are continuing to learn and to grow together. Together, we can do this. Learning for all, whatever it takes. That is the mission statement at John Newberry. Together as a team of staff, students, and parents, we can make a difference for each and every one of our kids. We got this. Let me start by beginning that we have a new learning management system called Canvas. Most of you were exposed to either Class Dojo or Google Classroom last spring. Now, Canvas is the one-stop shopping for all of our kids, grades K through 12. Canvas is going to make this whole process a lot easier for families with kids in, that have students in different grade levels and in different schools. You'll be learning more about Canvas in the days to come. The beginning of the school year will look different. We're going to begin our school year at the elementary level with Launch to Learn Days. These are days that will take place between August 26th and September 3rd. Launch to Learn Days are set up for you and your classroom teacher to meet and to start developing the relationship that is so important to your students' success in our schools. These meetings will be offered to you and your child in person, or you may do them virtually sometime throughout the first two weeks of school. We will be contacting families starting this coming Monday uh, to set up these Launch to Learn meetings. It'll be very important for you and your child to meet with your teacher during this time so that you have a better understanding of how we can support you in the upcoming weeks and months. Meetings are scheduled for about an hour, and we ask that you leave your other children at home so just so you and the child that is working with the teacher can have some real quality time together. Please know that we will be practicing social distancing cleaning the room space between each visit, and we want to protect you and our staff. So look forward to some more information coming out next week. During Launch to Learn, what you'll be doing at these meetings will focusing on developing relationships between you and the teachers, establishing some of the routines and structures that you may have in the upcoming weeks, creating Canvas accounts, We'll be distributing technology if you do not have yours yet. We'll be distributing educational books and resources for you to use in the coming months. We will probably be giving everyone a, a, a formative assessment to see where your child is in reading. So we also want to spend some time here determining the needs that you may have. It'll be a great time for you to share with your teachers some of the specifics about your child. And we want to provide technological support if you need it to help to begin a very smooth start in this remote learning. So, what will these first two weeks look like for the kids? We'll start the day beginning August 26th at 7.45 with a virtual meeting with your teacher to go over the student work that should be done during the particular day. And every day between August 26th and September 3rd, there will be a 7.45 meeting between you and your classroom teacher. These days are not going to look like the rest of the year. And I hope that you know that we will really are going to ramp up the expectations and the rigor of our education. The daily learning schedule that'll happen beginning September 8th is going to look much different. And it's going to be very similar to what every grade level will be being involved with. We've heard from you that having a common schedule is important for families. That is why we built it into this year's plan. A school day is going to look something like this. And remember, this starts on September 8th. 
A student will begin by logging into Canvas at 745. They will have a class meeting. They will learn about social emotional activities and deal with some of the beginning routines. Then we're going to move into about an hour of reading instruction that includes live instruction for all students. And it'll be some assignments and practice for small groups. And others will be working in some independent work, small work during this hour. After that hour, there'll be a half hour of small intervention group where kids will be working independently at home or on Lexia, or possibly some small one-on-one -on -one individual groups with other teachers. We'll have a morning break. We'll have an hour of mathematics that'll look very, very similar to the reading where the teacher will do some live instruction and then provide some time for the kids to do some independent work. There's a lunch scheduled in there so you can come to the school. By the way, we will be serving lunches at John Newberry again this year. So the lunch hour will be from 11 to 1. Well, the actual lunch hour and the schedule is not quite that long, but the school will be open from 11 to 1, and I'll talk about that more. In the afternoon, it's going to be more what we call asynchronous more video recorded lessons that students will be looking at at their time. This will be recorded lessons in science and social studies. There'll be time for our art, music, library, and music to have a recorded lesson and students will be required to respond to those lessons. There'll be another break scheduled in the afternoon. And the most, one of the most important parts of this whole project for us is the afternoon. We plan an hour and 15 minutes of some one-on-one -on -one conference calls, visits with parents, where our teachers will be reaching out to families and individual students to support them in their individual needs. The schedule will look the same on Monday, except that it will start later on a late start. So we would hope that this schedule works for you. You will be getting a hard copy of this schedule. It'll be coming to you so you can see it. It'll also be posted on our website very shortly. Communication is the key to working together successfully, and we will continue to use the Remind app. Many of you used the Remind app last year with your teachers. This year, we'll be using the Remind app as a school-wide program. We'll be using it for announcements, for getting information to you. It'll be very important for you to make sure that you have a working cell phone number on file here so we can text you inf information from your teacher and our school. You can also use the Remind link in your email if you wish. There is more to this to come, but if you are not receiving text messages or messages from the school during your teacher during the next coming week, it may mean the information you have with us needs to be updated. Please call the school and talk to someone so that we can get the correct information in our system. We'll also continue to use the school messenger phone system. The phone system will be a great way of communicating with you as well. If you have not already, you'll be getting a letter from myself and later in the week you will receive a letter from your teacher. Please keep your eyes open for that. It'll have a lot of information of what is happening in things that will help you make better decisions to get your Cato ready for school. Please keep in mind that our focus is to make sure that every Newberry student is actively engaged in their learning. To help families who may be struggling with online learning or if you need emotional support, we have an excellent team of staff that will be reaching out to support you during this time. This team is headed up by our counselor, Mr. Garza, by our coach, Ms. Strozik, and by our family advocate, Mrs. Lopez. Do not hesitate to call or email us with any questions at any time. The phone number at school is obviously posted on our webpage. It is 664-8930. Email addresses for myself and for the teachers are included in the welcome letters, but there is also a link that can easily be found on the Newberry website under staff link. In the letter you receive or will be receiving, you will see that we have added a virtual supply list of materials that your student might be able to use. I would encourage you to look at this list because it will help you support your kiddo during this upcoming learning. If you need help obtaining your supplies, please contact our family advocate or our school so we can support you. Technology, for students who do not have a computer already, you will have an opportunity to come and pick one up and I would offer the opportunity for you to call now before school begins so we can get you con uh, connected with your technology, your device. Please call the school right away. Kindergarten parents, we will be hopefully handing out your computers during, during the first two weeks of school when you come to school to do your lunch to learn appointment with your teacher. You do not need to contact the school for a computer. 
We will have multiple trainings and support options for parents and students, including a Wenatchee School District help hotline. At the upper, up elementary level, this training really will get started during the scheduled one-on-one -on -one conference at the start of the school year. As I mentioned earlier, meals will be able, available here at John Newberry this year from 11 until 1. At this point, the state is requiring that John Newberry parents come to our school to pick up their meals. We are hoping, 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 hoping that we'll get a waiver from the state to allow more flexibility for families so that you could go to any school in the district to pick up your school lunches. Remember, it's not only lunch that you're getting, but you'll also be getting or breakfast as well. In closing, I would like you to know that we know there is a lot of anxiety about the upcoming learning experience. If last year taught us anything, it taught us that we can do this together if we work together and give people grace. If we focus on what is important, the learning and the well-being of our students, and if we look for ways to support each other during this time, we will get through this stronger, kinder, and our students will be believers in their ability to learn. I believe in our Newberians, I believe in our kids, and I believe in you as parents. We can do this. As you talk to your kids about the upcoming school year, it is important to reassure them that the adults in their lives are here to support them. We're here to guide them. We're here to teach them. We're here to love them. Together, you, me, teachers, we've got this. We have got this. I hope this has been a help to you with some of the questions you may have had. Continue to look for our reaching out to you and don't ever hesitate to call our school if you have any additional questions or concerns. Thank you so much for being a part of our school. Go Jaguars.